separating room. Willie said, put the light skin against the dark skin in Atlanta. <laughs> Willie said, put the Negroes in the Atlanta suburb against the ones in the ghetto. Put the ones who dropped out of high school against the ones with the doctorate. Put the women against the men. Feminism. <laughs> put the gays against the straight. Put the Muslims against the Christian. And they will fight like hell. And they will learn to love fighting each other so much they will forget about you altogether. And he said, never think that any petty difference is too small to be made into an issue. Black people have this thing of fighting over anything. Atlanta, you ain't got over your petty differences yet. So I'm going to answer the holy question. What is the holy question? The holy question is, what is taking so long for black people to solve their problems? You know what's taking so long for black people to solve their problems? Black people have to learn to hate racism more than each other. And until you learn to hate racism more than each other, we ain't never coming out of this. What's the third thing? Ladies, I want you to pay close attention. Willie Lynch said, the most important thing you have to do to control your Negroes is you have to destroy the black woman's natural dependency, respect, and trust for the black man. If you don't believe me, go to the Shrine of the Black Madonna bookstore. It's a few store fronts down where you should be going anyway. I don't even live in Atlanta, and about a third of my books come from Atlanta Shrine of the Black Madonna bookstore. Put your hands together for the Shrine of the Black Madonna, Pan-African Orthodox Church, Black Christian Nationalist. Get that Willie Lynch letter, and you will see that's exactly what he said. But how did he say this had to be carried out? He said, get all your Negro women and line them up. Get all the Negro children and line them up. And then find the biggest, boldest, blackest, broadest, strongest alpha male in your slave stable. Bring that Negro out in front of all the nigger women and all the nigger infants. And he said, beat that black man down to within to an inch of his life. Don't kill him, but beat him so bad, he'll wish he's dead. And the entire time you're beating him, you must make sure his wife and children are watching. He said then, tar and feather that Negro. Tie one leg to one horse facing that direction. The other leg to another horse facing that direction. Beat both horses in opposite directions simultaneously. And those horses will rip the body of the slave in two. And if the black woman sees her man, who she loved, who she trusted, who she depended on, brought to the level of an infant, she will never trust or depend on him ever again. If the slave children see the biggest, bad, baddest, broadest, blackest slave treated and killed like that, the little black girls will never look to black boys to protect them. But Willie Lynch said the greatest effect of this conditioning machine is the fact that the black woman, the black woman, the black woman being so terrified by what the master just did to a husband, will raise her sons to be cowards out of fear that what happened to daddy would happen to them. 
So my single black mothers, I love you for the good job you're doing. Put your hands together for our women raising these children. But I need you to do me a favor, mothers, married and single. Because some of y'all, when daddy leaves, I got a whole nother training that go on in that house. Don't raise your son to be no coward. God made that boy a man on purpose. And if you don't raise your son to be an unapologetic alpha African male, he will not be able to fulfill his destiny. I know there's a war against unapologetic alpha African males, but I don't give a damn because God made me man. And I'll be refused to let anyone take my spirit because they don't agree with it. And black man, you remain an alpha male. Don't trade in your regular jeans for skinny jeans. <laughs> I'm serious, brothers and sisters. Who do they send to jail? Effeminate brothers? Hell no. Alpha men in jail. Who they send to special ed? Effeminate boys? Hell no. Alpha males. Do you realize the entire American society is designed to destroy any black man who shows a lack of fear towards white people? Conduct disorder. That ain't nothing but Caucasian disorder. That's a black boy tired of being mistreated by white folks and decided to tell them how he feels. And they made it a disease. We got some guests in the house, brothers and sisters. 